Hey everybody, welcome to another adventure of these nuts. All right, so again, taking pictures when I should be videoing. So I found out a way to do the tin cans. Awesome, worked awesome. Remember in the last video I said, you wanna get like a double roller to roll it through? Made me think. I got something like that. A rolling pin. Thank you, Grandma Adeline. For you nephews and nieces, that's your great Grandma Adeline. Um, it works great. So let me show you how to do it. First off, tin can. You need the tin steps. Go figure. You're going to cut the seam. I already took the top and bottom off. Obviously. And I don't know why, but once you cut this, you can use regular scissors. So like I said in the last video, the uh, iron did nothing to the tin cans, which, I don't know, kind of was a blessing in disguise, I guess, because um, this way is a lot quicker. I'm gonna use the Joey Shears. From now on, they're called the Joey Shears. They just work a lot better. Gutter bash. Cutting down the seam. Also, I'm going to be showing you what I came up with as far as how I'm going to mount them. I uh, used a torch and I torched some plywood I had and um, some cedar, some cedar uh, fencing. Uh, I ripped that down into some strips for the frame and fired those bad boys up. And I'm now in the process of uh, I think I'm on coat three. It That cedar's just sucking. Just sucking. It's sucking like a like a baby on a pacifier. Um, it just sucks up that clear finish like water. So I'm working on uh, starting. I'm going to start. I'll be starting the fourth coat. Starting to get a little glossy. So hopefully four coats will do it. So Okay. There it is. So you cut your edges, you cut your seam off. Now you're you got your round tin. This was so cool. I don't know how he think of this stuff. I'm a freaking genius, let me tell you. I should be making like millions of dollars a year. Basically, can you see this? You're gonna hold the can up, smush it up as far as you can. Don't slide your fingers because you'll cut them. Tightly, I'm pushing down and I'm rolling it. And I like to roll the, the uh, seam a bunch of times. That way, <laughs> this one's probably not gonna come out as good as the first one did. Um, and again, I, I did, I did this Schlitz, and um, 
realized I wasn't recording. I was just on a picture again. So it's a learning curve. Yeah, yeah, learning curve. So basically, you're going to roll it out, and that's not too bad. Came out pretty good. And then you can just kind of give it a little extra if it needs it. And again, um, it's much easier to clean it after you do the flattening. Just make sure you don't have any burrs on the edges. Um, I was lucky the first video that I didn't get any cuts. And then the second video I got a cut. And when I wasn't videoing, I got a lot of cuts. And I got a lot of hangups on those burrs. So be careful with those burrs. So basically there you have it. These are the ones I had that I did out of tin. Some foreign guys, Strohs. So, um, I ended up, I had enough plywood for um, probably uh, four of them. So, I'll take you over there and show you those. So, this is, bad angle, sorry, too much sun. These are the boards that I'll be uh, putting them on. And they came out pretty darn good. Like I say, I'm working on the third coat there on these, and then the fourth coat on the framing. And then this is the framing. Try to work it out. Come on, man. Work it out, dude. Came out pretty cool. So, um, this is a short one see if there's anything else I forgot um, tin snips cutting I left all the holes in it too this is a, probably a better picture for you looks pretty cool so hopefully tonight I'll finish those up getting them sealed tomorrow I could slap the frames together and then Start nailing them up, baby. So that's it for today's informational video on what you can do with a beer can when you got nothing to do with a beer can. All right. Share, like, post, or whatever they say. I don't know how the hell that works. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.